Class President. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh. Hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The immortal and the professor, what time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect. That means I can cook class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls, who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me Eldorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping an exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm, are you sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because oh. I'm going to win. <laughs> the magical Eldorado exploding <sighs> pepper. This is what gives Eldorado stew its one of a kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. Now oh, watch out! <gasps> the exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. <laughs> ah! uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it. Blech. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Domo will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Ah! Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. Ah! <gasps> well, the mockingbird mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. <gasps> uh. Thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh. 
Why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Aha! You're here too! <gasps> To a frog, then I can pull you out. <sighs> ah, thank you so much. You've been so helpful today. I'm here to announce the results of the election. By unanimous decision, we have chosen a class president. It's you, Helen. While Rudy and Lisa were bickering, you were actually helping out. Even Lisa and I voted for you, and we made up too. Okay, I'll try to be a great president. In honor of this happy event, may I offer a celebratory dinner? Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! The Book of the Future. I passed my test! Oh, and guess what? The professor said that soon we're probably going to have a new subject. Try to guess what it is. As long as it's not wizard genealogy. Talk about boring. And not ancient incantations. They're all just really long. I always get mixed up by the end. Don't you care what it might be, Daria? I can handle any subject. It won't be a problem for me. The subject of our new class... We'll be learning how to ride magical beasts! Oh, yes. oh no. What's wrong? That is the one class that I will never ever pass. My report card's going to be ruined. On the other hand, grades don't matter if I get kicked out of school because I'll never be a rider. It's easier than you think. All my brothers have been riding since they were two. They're always on a horse. Soon they'll forget how to walk. <sighs> Where I come from, it's not the same though. Wisdom landers are such terrible riders that we had to invent magic cars. Ow! The Squirrel Express. Fast and furry. I bet the immortal ordered something valuable. I'm going to follow it and find out. <clears throat> Wisdom landers just aren't meant to ride. And I'm not either. <gasps> huh? From the Central Magical Library, a book of the future on loan for the immortals' classes on magical divination and... Huh. What's a book of the future? Well, judging by the title, it might be a record of what the future holds. Let's take a look. Maybe you don't need to worry, because what if in the future, you'll be a great rider? Or maybe I will. Daria from Wisdomland, student of Wondermont School and former principal's assistant. <sighs> We'll never become a great writer. Hmm. Well, maybe this book is wrong. And also, why would you need to become a great writer? You could just be kind of good. Or, you know, not bad. Mm. Well, in any case, let's start practicing now with six paws. For this, we need a pro. I'll go get Helen. At long last, the future is mine. Now bars appear on the school's windows and doors. They cannot be breached. Even by a powerful magic force. Where has the book gone? Uh -huh. <gasps> hey, give that book back! We have to return it to the library! All right, book of the future. You better be wrong about this. <gasps> it worked! Uh, sort of. <laughs> back! I mean, forward! Some princess, look at you. Where'd you learn to ride like that? <gasps> Jump! Manage the tree, okay? How will you do with water? Uh, don't be scared. It's not deep. You can do it. We have to hurry. <laughs> we won't catch her like this. Think, Daria. Oh, we have to use the stones. Okay, listen to me. Left paw forward. And march! Right, middle, back, 
Left, middle, left, right. <gasps> Done. You did a great job. Now we'll really live it up in a palace. I'll be principal of a school of evil sorcery. Or no, the queen of all Wondermont. Hmm? I'm going to find a good place to hide so I can write our future in peace. And I'll see you before long, my golden beauty. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Dragon. I really, really need your help. I need to fly to the cliffs to save Wondermont's future from Baba Yaga. Uh, that is, if you wouldn't mind. My palace will have five. No, six rooms in it. Or ten. Only ten? More. How about a hundred? I can't decide now. What's better? I could be Queen Yaga. Or the Magnificent Empress. Of Wondermont! <laughs> oh, oh, you will never be an empress! <gasps> ah! Come back this instant! I command you! As Empress of Wondermont, I command you! Mr. Immortal, look what Baba Yaga wrote in there! Well done! Daria, well, you Daria has done very well indeed. She saved us all today. Daria, you did a wonderful job. Working with Ms. Dragon and Six Balls. But the Book of the Future said, very clearly in fact, that I'll never be a great rider. The future hasn't happened yet. That's why it's the future. And we can shape it however we choose. The book changes as we do so. Daria from Wisdom Land will be a great rider and we'll get along with all manner of magical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, I've still got this. Uh, oh, that book's just fairy tales. <laughs> Happy Snowland Day. Put that table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -huh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> Like the most beautiful dress ever! No, five of the most beautiful dresses! I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up too early. I've always wanted eye slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming? Then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> uh, quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> I wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests, as quick as can be, to the holiday tree. Flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. Oh, oh. <laughs> now you're in good hands. 
This whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah. Oh. To the right! Oh, I mean to the left! Huh? Oh. Uh -huh. ah. uh, uh, did you get it? Not yet! Try again! <laughs> a flying caramel! She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. Bye now. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. Go away. I don't want to come to your party. My gift! We did it! It at all. Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon and that the hey, kids are simply. We're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool. We had to walk back. But look, we saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the whatever gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away. <gasps> a six-legged beast! It worked! Too glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowman Day! The Six Legged Beast. As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Oh, Helen, that spell is from a fairy tale. I doubt it will. Wow, we've worked! They're going to write about us in the Hero News! And you had doubts? Well, some stories are based on reality. All right, Chubby, fly! I will visit you soon, I promise. Why don't we go together? After all, it's not safe to wander the woods alone. But we've already studied who lives in the woods, like badgers and other animals, such as birds. The only scary one there is Baba Yaga. <gasps> Still. I'm still! Now you can save me! From a reliable... <clears throat> from a not-so-reliable source, we have been recently informed of an incident. It appears that in the woods there may be... A monster with huge teeth that roars! Ooh! And three? Four? Maybe six legs? Six legs? Not six! Perhaps eight! Maybe more! In order to protect our students and Baba Yaga, we have placed highly effective protection traps within the forest to, well, trap, we hope, to capture the... The hundred-legged beast? 
the cause of this commotion. Mr. Immortal and I shall go to the forest to examine and confirm this recent phenomenon. Or to prove it wrong. Us too! Take us too! Watch out, thousand-legged monster! My dear future heroes, don't even think about it. To keep you all safe and inside, we will be placing a new spell on the windows and doors to keep them locked. Today's class shall be rescheduled to next Tuesday. Now then, where is that special rag of ours? The one that erases spells. Mm. Why did they leave all of us behind? Yeah, we'd have shown it a thing or two. I think it might be crying for help. You're right. The hungry monster wants us to help by being dinner. Not at all. Six-legged beasts are quite gentle. It might be in trouble. We have to help it. Helen, we've never studied six-legged beasts before. As far as we know, they only exist in fairy tales. So it's best to stay inside, away from the roaring. Chappy! No one believes me, but we have to help the six-legged beast. The professor uses this rag to erase spells from the blackboard. I'm sure it will also work on the locking spell. Thank you, Chappy. Brave men of Wondermont, forward! <laughs> and brave women, too. Hey, it's open. <gasps> Helen, she escaped. Oh, no way. We have to go save her. And if we capture the monster, that's two heroic deeds. Yeah, so this is where that draft was coming from. It's fixed. No need to thank me. Just remember that I saved your lives, or you'd be in big trouble. According to the book I read, the six-legged beasts are very friendly and gentle. They only roll when they're in trouble. But where is it? Oh! I found it! Oh, you have a splinter. Let me help you. Please don't be scared, dear Six Paws. There, there. This will be quick, okay? Helen! Hey, monster! Release her! I, Vasco of El Dorado, challenge you to battle! Oh no! Please stop! Wait, don't go! What about our heroic rescue? Hmm, we've already checked most of the traps. So far, the only thing that we've caught is Baba Yaga's hut. Yes, I haven't found anything yet either. I am beginning to suspect that we may be the only ones here. Aside from the local fauna, did Baba Yaga make it up? <laughs> Now that we've caught him, our names will be in here. Ah! As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Quickly, Professor. Helen fell in the pit. And so did the monster we defeated? Maybe? No. He's no monster. He's a sweet six horse. Phenomenal. But we must count his legs to be certain. Four, five, and six. Clockwise, there are six, and my counterclockwise as well. It is most certainly an authentic Icelandish Hexapaurus. That's exactly right, Professor. An extremely rare beast and absolutely harmless creature. <laughs> In fact, they are so timid that nobody has ever tamed one before. I'll come visit you sometime. <gasps> it should be impossible, yet somehow Helen has tamed it. That is the power of her kindness. It makes the impossible possible. Your kindness truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I think that I will stay here. Or then you'll have even more chances to show me how kind and hospitable you are. Oh, dear. The Defenders. Uh, I feel so sleepy. You were the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful! I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. 
They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. Girls, what was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters tricked them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <laughs> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Daria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a night delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. It's already midnight. Be ready for Anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge and the tall guy is the dumb one, like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. They have no idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. Helen, it's your turn. Whoa. Whoa. We did it! Whoa. Oh no, it failed. They must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living Hedge from underground, you the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger. So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Uh. Uh. Yes! Stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. What's that sound? Mr. Immortal, sir! Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Vasco. This is our chance to be heroes. Oh, brave warrior, show your mind. You'd better surrender, sir. We can't be responsible for our actions. Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears. Simply tickle them. Oh, brave warrior, show your mind. Professor? Uh. Mr. Immortal? <sighs> Who are those boys? Get your hands off our school! <sighs> you see, Professor, we thought someone was attacking the school. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you 
to Vasco. Hi there. And Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life. <gasps> and it ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. <sighs> and now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. Oh. Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You're bossy. Well, clearly, without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late, and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> And soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough! I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls! I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. No, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow! You should wear it. Thank you! Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. <laughs> Girls! What's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. <sighs> well then, let's replace Helen. Hooray! It's hide-and-seek! My favorite! First to find Helen wins! To get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. <sighs> oh, Helen! Yoo-hoo! Where are you? We just want to play! Huh? Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank 
thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? Huh. Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey you, Mira! Give Doria back! We only want our Doria! Give her back! Doria! Doria! You're back. back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want <laughs> you. Magic Paint Box Way. We're not sprucing up our dome with any of this. Ah. What about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <laughs> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> we're all doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. <laughs> great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. No! Now, that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> that painting! I saw it move. Hachi, you frightened us. <laughs> you can move in and out of paintings? Awesome! Hello? I know the perfect way to spruce up our dome. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm, that's not such a bad idea. My own painting collection. <laughs> Girls, take some blank canvases and bring them to our dome. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes, I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa. Paint faster. I told you to hold the ball in your hands. Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward. Oh, you can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it, and then it disappeared. How strange. Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. No! Stop it! Don't finish it! Baba Yaga. Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What is she doing? <gasps> take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You've no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brushstrokes. And I know how to fix this. 
I've got an extra brush right here. I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck. We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here, let me rub hold it. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. Another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Ochi. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? We need to find Archie while still looking out for Baba Yaga. Archie, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Archie, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Hideous! How dare you! Get out of that painting! I'm not hanging this on my wall! <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards. <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Archie. Thank, Thank you, Archie. Archie. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> Training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh, 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 oh. 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 oh, dear. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh. Hmm. The president of the Wondermont administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes. Does that mean it's OK for me to stay in bed all day? No, Dolma. It means we should spend the day outside, where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Good Sleep well. Night, night. Night. Thanks. Toma, <gasps> 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 what's the matter? Are you okay? I had a terrible dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? Oh, please help me! I'm falling into a big hole in the ground! <laughs> Rooney, stop it! That wasn't funny! It felt so real! I can't stop thinking about it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around! It's a perfect day! Nothing bad is gonna happen! Oh, 
Let's look. Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Have a nice trip, my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit. <laughs> What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm. Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Goats, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. No, no magic, remember? <gasps> How do we stop Baba Yaga without magic? I've got it! Baba Yaga! <gasps> That's enough! It's me, the Immortal! Stop what you're doing and run, or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, your immortalness. I didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga, that spell you're casting. Uh, are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I fear you made a small mistake. Just uh, look. What? It says right here. Stop talking. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. So sorry. You little pest. Let me help you. Go. Yes. Nice Go. catch. What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way. Oh! Now I've had enough. We need our magic. The school is about to collapse. <gasps> Daria, we can't use magic. We break the rules or lose our school. Stop that! You're messing up the spell! Whoa! Oh! No! My book! Oh! Oh, so hot! Let me cool it down for you. Looks like you froze me out! But I'll be back! Wow, so cool! Well done, girls. You saved the school. <gasps> My voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> yes! Hooray! 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 Time out for Daria. Suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream. They're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You uh, asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers! Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <sighs> Wake up now! Come back to life! Now move! What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help! You're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. 
Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls. And she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Oh, you. Professor. No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the professor. Pretending oh. to be oh. one of our best. Teach us! <laughs> Professor, I'll cut off her escape! No. What are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! <laughs> really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues, turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. Spell swap. Why must every day start with getting up? It's so unfair. <laughs> I don't sound that way. Rooney, stop that right now. Enough of your impressions. A 
according to my schedule, there is no time to have any fun today. Hey, sounds like Daria. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, quiet down. That's enough. An excellent idea from someone not in her seat. I'm sorry about that. Just trying to have a bit of fun. <laughs> well, I think you'll enjoy the lesson for today. It's also fun. We shall learn how to master a blending spell. With this magic, we will combine two of your powers into one unique spell. The results are fun and surprising. We will begin by forming pairs. There are five princesses, so one of you shall work with me. This is the worst. It's best to practice together where you won't be disturbed. <laughs> Shall we go, partner? A, B, C. Is that right? <gasps> Stupid book. Why ever did I steal it? <laughs> be quiet. I didn't ask you. I stole it because I need it. It's the Wisdom Land spell book, after all. At least I think it is. I won't know until I read it. Their language is tricky. <gasps> That's right, her. She's from Wisdom Land. Now I don't need to learn the language. <laughs> together we two make, together we two blend. <gasps> What's this? Oh my, delicious. Oh, how delicious. <gasps> Hooray! It's like they're dancing. A dash of magic cast with a... You're doing it all wrong. A dash of magic cast with a friend? Mm-hmm. This was supposed to be fun. What? I said a dash of magic cast with a friend. Together we make two, together we blend. We have to say it together. Is that correct? Whoa. Rooney. You look just like me. What do you mean? You look just like me. <gasps> we switched bodies. But Doria, how do we switch back? Doria, I need your help. And this is not a request. <gasps> Wait, come back. Doria! I'm coming, Rooney. Delicious. It's so fun blending our magic. Oh, Rooney, why the hurry? Our spell's gone wrong. I switched bodies with Rooney. Then Baba Yaga appeared. And she took Rooney. Because she looks like me and I look like her, you see? You know? <laughs> <laughs> My, you sound just like Daria. Even more than this morning. I am Daria. <laughs> this is an amazing prank, even for you, Rooney. However, does it work? Oh, where's Marlene? Sorry, that trick won't work on Marlene. Why not? Because you pretended to be Daria already this morning. And Marlene as well. You're not Daria. No, I'm Rooney. Rooney, Rooney! Enough already. Stop. You're from Wisdom Land, aren't you? I got this book as a gift. I'm sure it has strong spells, but I need it translated. And you know how. Now read it to me. <laughs> I won't. And you can't make me. Oh, can't I? Hmm. <gasps> it's stuck! What did you do now? It'll stay that way until you read it to me. <laughs> Stop! You'll damage the book! Hmm. All right, you don't want to help me? Then I'll make you help. A tickling spell will change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You came to save me! Why are you here? You made me waste a tickling spell on a perfectly good brew. Why do you need that book? <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me? Very well. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> good job. After all, we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Doria, thank you. What for? Because you came to my rescue. Thanks. Oh, it was nothing. Hang on. Wouldn't you rescue me? Of course I would. <laughs> hey, what sort of crazy spells were in that spooky book anyway? Actually, it's a joke book. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't help you. We didn't believe you. You had to face Baba Yaga alone. Oh, this lesson wasn't as fun as I thought. 
Could someone please switch us back? Hmm. Yes, of course. To reverse the spell, you must first reverse the words, like so. Now you try it. Make two we together. Together, blend we two. <laughs> Rooney, Daria, you've both mastered the spell at a very high level. As a reward for your teamwork, you both get an A. Wait, it didn't work. Just look at me. I'm still Rooney. <gasps> <laughs> look at your faces. Rooney, we've had enough of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs>